Hi folks, welcome back to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to discuss with you potential crops grown in various regions in Tanzania. These are potential crops that you can put your investment because this crop, they have grazing from the government. Among of this crop are Saiso, cotton, cash nuts, tea, coffee, avocado, rice. Before starting this video, I would like to appreciate or credit the Ministry of Agriculture for this short video documentary which was displayed in Dubai Expo 2020. Tucked away in East Africa is a plant that has been a part of Tanzania's history since 1893. Sisal, a fiber that grows in the tropics, is a very resilient plant. And so is the Tanzanian government's resolve to grow it. You see, Tanzania is the second largest producer of sisal in the world. Thanks to technological advances and the country's vision for the future, sisal is growing in importance across the globe. A myriad of applications for the plant have breathed new life into an industry that was perceived by some to be on its way out. In the past, only 4% of the sisal plant was used, while the remaining 96% was thrown away as waste. But now, Thanks to technology, new ways of using the entire plant have been found. With its long history of success and overcoming challenges in the sisal industry, the Tanzanian government has bold plans for this plant. It aims to take the country's current output from 37,000 tons to 120,000 tons annually by 2025 and eventually growing that number to 1 million tons by 2030. To make this dream a reality, vast arable land suitable for growing sisal has been made available in various parts of the country. The presence of local scientists and farmers well versed in the growing of sisal as well as an established cropping system ensures profitable returns for investors. Investors are therefore invited to invest in sisal plantations, processing, and value addition. A one-stop center at the Tanzania Investment Center offices is available to facilitate those interested. The country is open for business because the global sisal revolution begins in Tanzania. Tanzanian cotton. Nestled in East Africa, Tanzania is where world-class cotton grows. In many parts of the country, vast garden-like views like these are common. These attractive flower buds will soon produce some of the world's finest cotton. Once harvested, it will be processed into the various fabrics that adorn our lives. With lint that's long and white and a high ginning outturn, Tanzania's cotton is some of the cleanest in the world. A homegrown variety called UK M08 has helped put Tanzania's cotton on the world map. The minimal use of fertilizers and chemicals in growing it makes it special. This eco-friendly approach has made Tanzania's organic cotton highly desirable. Large arable land and suitable weather supports the growth of cotton in most parts of the country. There are around 1 million acres of land in designated areas that are used to grow cotton. 17 out of 26 regions in Tanzania mainland grow cotton. They differ in weather and seasons, allowing cotton to be harvested for up to five times a year. 
Its transportation to major ports like Dar es Salaam is made easy with a good network of roads and rail. A host of opportunities therefore exist to establish large-scale cotton farms, gineries, production and distribution of inputs, cotton seed crushing plants, and many more. Tanzanian cotton, weaving the fabric of a sustainable future. Karibu. It's the quality of the nut that sets Tanzanian cashews apart. Tanzanian cashew nuts. Only the highest grade of cashew nuts from thousands of farms across the country are picked, sorted and packaged. Each pound of cashews is screened to ensure the right nut count and moisture content. Big kernels characterize Tanzanian cashews. They are white with a distinct nutty taste. Eaten as a snack or incorporated as an ingredient in a variety of foods, Tanzanian cashews are highly esteemed around the world. Grown on Tanzania's Makonde Plateau and Central Corridor, Tanzania is one of Africa's top cashew nut growers. A harvest season during the months of October to December serves as an advantage. This seasonal variation with other cashew nut producing countries ensures that the world is supplied with cashews all year round. At an average of 300,000 tons per year, the country is one of the largest producers of cashews in the world, the third in Africa and the first in East Africa. The Tanzanian government aims to triple this number over the next five years. Large farms producing cashews are littered across 17 regions in the country, with more on the way. As such, there's no shortage of raw cashews for those seeking to procure high-quality nuts. With Tanzania being a haven for investors, setting up cashew nut processing plants is a lucrative venture. There is therefore every reason to experience and invest in Tanzanian cashews. Quality produce from the heart of East Africa. Tanzanian tea an aromatic beverage prepared by pouring hot water over cured leaves. The simplicity of this process might conceal the enormous work that goes into creating this well-known brew. This is true for Tanzanian tea, which was first introduced in 1902. Since then, Tanzania has perfected the art of growing the leaves that makes the world's most popular beverage. As one of the most important tea producing countries in Africa, there are three main planting areas in Tanzania. Those in the country's southern highlands, the plantations of East Usambara in the eastern part of the country, and the northwestern zone around the shores of Lake Victoria. What comes out of these plantations is nothing short of magnificent, satisfying tea lovers around the world. Grown without pesticides, the soil and high altitude conditions set Tanzanian tea apart and gives rise to two main types of tea. Once processed, Tanzania's black tea is known for its full, multi flavor, creating a brew that is surprisingly smooth, great for breakfast. The quality of the tea leaves has enabled the processing and packaging of numerous exotic blends. Over the years, Tanzanian researchers have continued to add new clones of tea to the country's repertoire, creating new dimensions of flavor. You see, all this 
is because tea is a highly important industry to Tanzania. It employs thousands of farmers directly, with millions more benefiting indirectly. The Tanzanian government is keen on furthering this success story. With more land allocated for tea production, the government wants to see a significant increase in annual tea yields. There is therefore ample room to invest in establishing tea plantations, setting up blending and packaging factories for both green and specialty tea, and improving existing factories. What's more, this year, 2022, the government has begun establishing tea auctions, which will in turn increase efficiency and reduce the overall cost of doing business. The aroma of progress beckons. Experience and invest in Tanzanian tea. Tanzanian coffee. Tanzania, East Africa. The coffee grown here is world renowned. It is considered nature's gift to the world. Every coffee bean carries a story. You see, what makes Tanzanian coffee unique is where it is grown. Farmed through a hybrid land use model, Tanzania's coffee is organic. Africa's snow-capped peak, Mount Kilimanjaro, and the country's southern highlands give rise to world-class Arabica coffee beans. The rich volcanic soils and well-defined seasons here create the ideal conditions for their growth. At lower altitudes on the shores of Lake Victoria, the largest lake in the southern hemisphere, Robusta and dry processed Arabica coffees flourish. Once harvested, the beans are processed to preserve their inherent fine quality. What ensues is fine coffee with balanced acidity, flavorful like fine notes. <laughs> As you sip on a cup of Tanzanian coffee, you taste the culture of the land that produced it. You think of the farmer, the harvester, processor, even the exporter, and the labor of love they put in. That's why it's all about the value and less about the price. Tanzania produces an array of coffee brands that are growing in demand globally. The country is also one of three that have been certified to produce some of the most expensive coffee in the world. Its high quality is what compels others to use it to create the best blends in Japan, Europe and North America. In other words, Tanzanian coffee is like salt in food. With such an esteemed position, there's room to be part of the story of Tanzanian coffee. There's ample room to grow, process, export, buy, and consume it. From a coffee plantation to a cup on your table, you too can add a chapter to this riveting Tanzanian story. Tanzanian Avocado Green Gold Tanzania's avocados have become a sought-after fruit. With 10,000 smallholder farmers in the country growing it, avocado farming is part of a large horticulture subsector 
that is fast growing. Tanzania's ideal conditions for their growth. The soil is so pure that uh, avocados grow very well in this part of the region, especially in Jombe, Mbea, Iringa, Mafinga, and as you move to Kilimanjaro and other areas. It's very fertile. Grown at an altitude of over 1,800 meters above sea level, the country has some of the world's best avocados. If you want to ask me the best avocado in the world, I'll tell you it's Tanzania. From the dry matter, to the oil content, to the shape, and the look, and the shelf life. The buttery texture of its flesh and mild flavored taste is sure to entice any palate. Fuerte and Haas are the main varieties in Tanzania, grown at an altitude of between 1,200 and 2,000 meters, following strict international standards. With favorable weather patterns, 70% of Tanzania's production is rain-fed and the fruit harvested in two seasons. We make sure we do not pick our avocados too early. We test dry matter. It has to reach international standards of a minimum of 23%, but we go beyond that. Most of our avocados here are at least 30% dry matter before they are picked. We have state-of-the-art cold chain technology that allows us to pick a more mature avocado get it packed and cooled very quickly, and then put it into the transportation process, and it, it can reach Europe by ship without ripening before it reaches the market. So the feedback from customers is they are reordering and reordering and reordering, and it's not little orders. Their orders are growing considerably. They've told us they love the product. They've never seen such good, creamy internals. Tanzania, we have a very good quality avocado. Tanzania produced 40,000 tons of avocados in 2019 alone. Production is projected to grow by 20% every year to reach 143,000 tons annually by 2026. Haas, the export variety, is expected to reach 28,000 tons by 2026. With ample land to farm, you too can invest in this precious fruit. Apart from plantations, one can set up facilities to process avocados from sorting, cleaning, grading, and even packaging. One can also invest in the production of assorted salads, cooking oil, soap products, just to mention a few. Or invest in the manufacture of inputs required for the entire avocado value chain, like the production of seeds, pesticides, fertilizers, and farming equipment. The avocado industry in Tanzania is ripe with opportunity. Tanzanian avocados, something precious for the world. A pot of simmering Tanzanian rice. It's not just the sweet aroma and savory taste that beckons you. It is also the people of the land that grew it. You see, rice is one of the most important food and commercial crops in Tanzania. A major source of employment, it provides incomes and security for millions of households in the country. Through their engagement in rice farming, Tanzania is fast becoming one of the world's major suppliers of a grain that is a staple in many nations. At the moment, it is the fourth largest producer of rice in Africa and the second largest in Eastern and Southern Africa. And as global food demand grows to reach 50% by 2050, Tanzania aims to be the breadbasket of the world and Africa. With the future of food threatened by environmental challenges, Tanzania continues to embrace smart agriculture through the irrigation of only 4% of the arable land suitable for rice production. Cultivated on 1.1 million hectares of land, rice production has recently reached 3 million tons of milled rice. This takes place in the country's lowlands and uplands under rain-fed and irrigated conditions. 
most rice in Tanzania is grown through rainfall, which takes three to four months. Normally, planting starts in November through to January, with harvesting taking place between May and July. On the other hand, the presence of several lakes and rivers makes it easier to irrigate rice fields. To improve yields and quality, Tanzanian scientists have developed three rice varieties, Sat 1, Sat 6, and Sat 9, and made them available to farmers. Given the country's great farming conditions and the presence of vast agricultural basins, rice farming is a lucrative endeavor and is in fact the future of the food business in Tanzania. Investors are welcome to invest in rice plantations and the processing of harvested rice. Tanzanian rice, feeding the world and growing a sustainable future. This marked end of our video. Sub to this channel, make a big difference. Thank you for watching. See you in another episode. Bye.